click on this link right and you'll see all the options for linux windows mac and docker accordingly and you can download it from here okay i've kept it ready on the server so as soon as you have downloaded your first step is complete from installation perspective uh, let's talk about node exporter okay so there are only two steps that you need to do untar and run it okay so tar minus xzvf right and nohub dot slash node exporter ampersand to start it in background okay so let me show you i've already kept it ready on this server you can see it is already running okay and just need to untar your tar file which is this one okay go to this folder and you just need to run nohub dot slash node exporter and ampersand that's it you are done for node exporter now. okay uh, let's go to another step which is prometheus monitoring okay prometheus installation so for prometheus as well first step is to untar your tar file okay so this is how you will untar it okay you will you will go to the folder okay and you just need to change your uh, yml file this is let me just show you yml file okay so this is a basic yml file okay it does not have uh, too many of parameters one is your uh, scrap interval this is kind of a frequency for your uh, collection of data um, one is your uh, node exporter so you might have multiple uh, node exporters installed on multiple boxes okay so as of now i only have single one if you have multiple you just need to uh, give it here okay so and default port of uh, node exporter is 9100 and default port of prometheus is 9090 okay that's it so this is what i have used as of now okay and to start uh, prometheus as well uh, no hub dot slash prometheus and m person that's it that's the only command that you need to run and it will start collecting all the data from all the net exporter that you have mentioned and it will start storing the data into your prometheus db okay let's come to uh, grafana now okay so for grafana as well you just need to untar it right and you need to run grafana server from your bin folder okay so let me just show you okay need to go to grafana this is the latest version 4.6.3 go to bin and you will be able to see grafana server here okay so you just need to run nohub dot slash grafana server and ampersand okay that's the only command that you need to run it has a default port of uh, 3000 in case if you need to change anything just need to go to conf folder and you can edit inside your default dot ini so default.ini file has all the default parameters you can search with 3000 uh, the parameter is called http underscore port that particular parameter you can change it to the whatever port that you need okay uh, and if you have started it uh, uh, the initial username and password which it will ask is admin admin okay so let's go to grafana uh, 1000 port right because i have already uh, logged in right uh, it is directly showing me but for you when you log in for the first time your default username and password is admin and admin okay 
initially it will ask you to set up the data source when we say data source from where it needs to listen the data from okay so for data source i have created this you need to create a basic data source for uh, prometheus okay so i have already created a prometheus data source okay if you want to create you just need to give a name here okay you need to mention which kind of type of your data source which is prometheus in our case 9090 is the default port in case of uh, prometheus right you just need to give the ip address right and add it and then it will ask you for the save option and test option as well there okay and as soon as, the, as soon as you are done right so in my case you can see that right uh, it is by default showing me two dashboards right which is available in grafana labs okay so you may want to import the same prometheus stats and grafana matrix right which are related to your prometheus data so i've done the same but it requires few changes which i have kept ready i'll put this particular uh, json file into my gitlab right so that you can download it from here okay so if you can download that right let's go to dashboard right and if you want to set up anything right you can you have option to import dashboard as well right so if you are able to download a ready made json file from grafana lab right you can just upload it here uh, with whatever uh, json file you have downloaded okay i've done the same thing here but it requires few changes because you need to give the same data source name and everything but as soon as you do all these changes it this is how it will look okay so you can see it now right uh, the memory and disk space and uh, free memory cpu there are other metrics as well which are available i have not configured all of them this is just for the example okay so this is how it will look you can see how uh, look and feel is better on grafana ui okay let me now show you how it will look on uh, uh, prometheus ui as well okay so this is a slash matrix is uh, of prometheus only it will show you what all metrics are getting collected with slash matrix and a port of your uh, node okay so this is the list of all the metrics which are getting collected it will also show you the value real time value of that particular metric okay suppose this is a metric name so there is a value of that particular metric okay and this is the ui for uh, prometheus like so this is the list of all the metrics which are available right you can see it here right? these all are the metrics which are getting collected you can create your query accordingly by using this matrices right you can create graphs as well right and this is how it will look right you can see it right i because i have configured four servers it is showing me values of all four uh, servers i have 10 11 12 and 13 9100 which is our node spot okay so this is basic ui where you can write your queries and then use the same query on your grafana probably on grafana you can edit your graphs easily right you can change your queries as well you can you can uh, test that query as well right and uh, yeah that's it so probably in in next session we'll we'll discuss more into detail of all these things okay on uh, how to create queries on prometheus uh, db right and how to configure uh, how to configure this node for other other technologies like apache kafka and mongo and other technologies right so there are ready made plugins available uh, which can collect data for a specific technology and store it uh, into prometheus db and you can create all the graphs on top of that as well accordingly okay so this which we have covered today covers only basic uh, matrices of uh, infrastructure monitoring these are the matrices which are available all right it's quite a lot uh, it might happen that all of them are not useful so here i've only created this this particular dashboard with only a few which you might be aware of like free memory and disk space and cpu and latency 
disk io data transfer on on network system load and display availability and all those basic parameters okay i'll upload the json file of this particular uh, dashboard onto my gitlab you'll be able to download it there and i'll also keep this particular document with all the steps as well there so that you can download it from there okay that's it uh, uh, that's it in this session we'll probably cover in detail in the next session okay thank you